Oh, another new day. I need to get to flying class. Hmm. Well. I haven't been down to the boathouse since arriving in my first year. Oh. Perhaps I'll pay. Hmm. Well, pay it a visit. It might, um, might prove interesting. Oh! Well, all right. Hmm. Ravenia. To then find out about Gamp's law. Such a disappointment. What is Gamp's I'm law? Dreading taking my hmm. transfiguration. Guessing it's a law where you can't conjure something out of nothing? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. Right. Gamp's law. Hmm. We'll have to look that one up. Out here. What a beautiful oh what a beautiful day I'm guessing I these is a set out for us maybe who do you think will fall from their broom first oh dear everybody grab a broom and we shall get started mr. Clopton your attention please sorry madam Kagawa Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. 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 The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Mm. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. Okay. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Okay. Sounds straightforward enough. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! Aha! Look at that! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. I imagine it will. Good lord. Okay. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. All right. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are brilliant. school property. I want them returned in oh, one piece. I'm getting used to. Oh, yeah. Got that. We did it. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. Now what? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, all right. Well, okay. Yep, okay. What have you... Yes, that is quite the view. My God. Hello. Nice day for a fly. Yes, Everett. It is. It's lovely. Brilliant. Just be careful, will you? Ah, mm. oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm here. Enjoying my time. And this is quite wonderful. My goodness. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes oh. to make an appearance once in a while. Hello. <laughs> Good grief. Mm. <laughs> Go 
good. I've got this. Wow. Well, what a lot of fun this is. Good grief. Oh, well done. Have a moment. What do you want to know, Everett? You want something, I'm sure. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. Yes, I remember so, you. Care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Um. Yeah, won't we get into trouble for that? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. Well, the tour is about to begin. What? Follow closely now. Oh, right now, are. we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. All right. Let's hope the headmaster isn't oh. having tea by the window today. No, I don't think the headmaster would appreciate it either, to be quite frank. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Um, oh, oh, kind of, yeah. Whoa. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Hmm. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Okay. <laughs> now that's more like it. Mm. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Definitely not. Okay. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. Mm. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. Oh yeah. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Mm hmm Been there. Twenty dibs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Where are we going? Oh. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Mm hmm Like he's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Okay. Oh, oh. And where have you two been? Oh dear. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. <sighs> Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. Oh. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Yeah. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Good. That's something, I suppose. Well, I mean, we only took the brooms for a little bit of a fly. It's fine. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Yep. Um, I've no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You yeah, seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favourite. Mm. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Okay. Hmm, spint witches, eh? Oh, alright, so... Uh, 
Madame Kagawa? Madame Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. I certainly You're also will. welcome to drop by any time with questions. I've not oh, forgotten Marcus. about oh. our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Interesting. Very interesting. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Hmm. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. My goodness. We, we have a lot of mail today. Okay, well, maybe we should um, head back in. Hmm. Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Yes. Ah. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. <laughs> well done. Mm. Shall we? After you, Professor. Yes, please, lead the way. Good lord. Wow. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon yeah. this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. Hmm. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Possibly. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Oh. Revelio. Well, well, this is a little bit of a shambles. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, Evanesco. the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Well, all right, let's have a look. Aha, beautiful. Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Let's um let's just assign Evanesco Expelliarmus. Is it no, no? Oh, Evanesco, there you go. Um we might as well replace that just for now. Okay. Excellent. Wow. Work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. I am. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Okay. Rebellia. Evanesco. Where in Merlin's name is that, that elf? What is that? Can I? Is that good? Ace. My old oh. school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Can't believe it's still here. Well, there you go. I'll just take a quick look at this. 
give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. No problem. Yes, Professor. A. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. A and T, eh? Hmm. Revelia. Okay, well, is there anything else? <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Well, terribly sorry. Good lord. Uh, yep. Brilliant. Rebellion. So, what's this? Another chest? Hmm. No, it's not a chest. I know what this is. Alright. And then can we... Yep, we can. Ha! An identified head item. Hmm. Hmm. Revelio. Interesting. What's this? Teacup. Some tea. Probably very old tea. Might be a little foolish to drink, but never mind. Hello. Um. Oh. Ah, we could have slid down there. I see. Okay. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Hmm. Indeed. An intruder! Stop them! Rebellion! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Oh, dear. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Goodness me. Hmm. Oh, another note. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Maybe secretly you did need a bath. Okay. Wow. All these lovely paper lanterns. Rebellion. Quite, um... Quite magical in their own way. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? There's a lot of stuff. Mm. Brilliant. More moonstone. What was that? That. Was that a golden snitch? That is a golden snitch. Perhaps you Rebellion. should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Good grief. Ah. Oh. Hmm. What's this? Oh! Music. Aha, striped house collar scarf. Ah, I see. Another. Another little box for us to stand upon. Um, hmm. Ah, so we can go through there. Hmm. What's around this way? I can hear a snitch. Hmm. I hope that house elf can find us in here. He can. I'm sure. Ah, I see. We can go through here. And assumedly... Oh. Hmm. Ah. Do we maybe need to pull that here and then 
pull this one through here. Possibly. No? the gloves. There's the snitch. Hmm. I don't think we can get it. Hmm. Rebellion. No, I don't think that's the purpose of it. Well, never mind. Yeah. So what else is round here? Oh. Oh, there he is. Yikes! Oh. Careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <coughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Mm -hmm. Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We wow. discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. Mm. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now. It's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Okay. yourself quite a canvas to work with. Mm. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of unidentified gear that you've collected. Brilliant! And we do have some unidentified gear, so let's do it. Okay. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Hmm. Marvellous. Well, let's just have a little look. Because I did pick up a couple of items. So. 
it's uh, oh no blue four eye spectacles superb oh nice 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 we picked up a hat as well i remember picking up a hat ah classic sorcerer's hat anti-venom decreased damage from taken from spiders brilliant and i also picked up a, a robe i believe was it a robe a cloak or it might have been an actual outfit no i think it must have been the robe well there you go what's that hmm a new handwear ah brown leather gloves yes well brilliant that's that's answered the question then i mean not a bad spot for working in all right professor weasley i imagine the desk of description will come in handy it will i hope you'll take advantage of it certainly will now, i'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring okay the room might not provide everything you need on its own conjuring yes the magic of creating or conjuring objects i'll teach you all right okay well Conjuration. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. Yes. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You All should right. find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Brilliant. So we can brew our own Wigan Weld and stuff. Great. All right. Well, um, can I, can I, hmm. Okay. Well, let's, 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 let's get conjuring then. Conjuration. There we go. Okay. So. Let's see. We want to conjure a potions table. Oh, there's lots of different variants of it. I see. Small scientific potion station. Uh, yeah. Small botanical potion station. Small eclectic potion station. Or small gothic potion station. Um... Well, let's 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 have a look. Hmm. Oh, I see. I can see what each looks like. Oh no. Hmm. I see. So that's the gothic. That's the eclectic the botanical and the scientific well i think we'll go with the scientific actually i quite quite like that oh we can change the color of it oh brilliant hmm well green pink purple i do like the purple i am a purple fan having purple hair Uh, yeah, I think, I think purple, definitely. Okay. Aha, we did it. Oh, can, uh, can I? There it is. Marvellous. Okay, so now I just need to conjure the, oh. Herbology, yes, the potting station. The 
potting table. Well, let's let's lay it down and have a look. So that's just the general potting table, I think. Hmm. Botanical potting table. That's quite nice with the leaves. Eclectic. Hmm. And gothic. Hmm. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Brilliant. All right. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Oh, definitely not. Um, can I use transfiguration magic elsewhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. Oh. We've charms in place to enforce that. All right. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. True. Uh, I'd like to know more about Deke, actually. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. Okay. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Well, thank you. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Well, of course. Hmm. So we can brew up some potions. We could actually do with brewing some potions, you know. Um, perhaps some Wigan Weld. Get the Wigan Weld going. Make a few. I'm sure I have the uh, resources for it. Good lord. Hmm. That's a Weasley. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Mm -hmm. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much do I need? Um, well, I, I do have quite a bit already, but I will collect my Wigan Well potion and make another. Aha! We're going out fully prepped here. So this is obviously the transport to the room requirements. So, Deke, are you going to tell me something? No? I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. Brilliant. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh. Okay. Well, um All right. Well, let's let's put some art up on the wall, shall we? So this is herbology. So, hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Niffler and the Wizard. I, I quite like the idea of that. Um, hmm. Oh! Maybe we could make it a little bit bigger. It's quite big. Good lord. But no, I like that. Very nice. Alright. So, that's... Hmm... Maybe a mirror? Rugs? Hmm, maybe a... Maybe a candle? Next to our lovely... Table? Good work. Marvellous. Shall we move on? 
Very nice. Very nice. Is my Wigan Whale well ready? Yes, it is. Set another one going. Brilliant. And how is my Dittany getting on? Only a minute left. Brilliant. 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 Okay, uh, Professor, I'm ready. I think... I think I'm happy with that. I've got like a little potions corner with all the wizards and witches just gazing over us. A little Dittany corner with a witch doing something and then... Alright. And then uh, the two house elves with the mistress and a mirror. Yes, definitely. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Oh. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Brilliant. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. All right. Here we go. Another spell. Uh, right. Okay. Altering. Brilliant. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. All right. Uh, well, let's just put the altering spell here for now, where Leviosa is. And um, all right. Well, I wanted to alter this table anyway. So how? Will, oh, my Dittany is ready. We'll collect the Dittany. Um, no, not the, not the, not the, not the walls. This. All right, I want to change the colour to um, green, I think. Yes, that's better. Green. The style of the item. Oh, I've created a, a storm cloud. So the style. What about? Can we adjust the style of this? We can! Oh, brilliant! Okay, um... Hmm. 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 The black's quite nice. Hmm, adjust the size, the size of an item. We could make this mirror a little bit smaller, couldn't we? So we can adjust the walls? Oh! Scientific wall pediment. Oh! Oh! Well, that's quite unique. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, well, could we... Maybe we could make this rug a little bit smaller. There we go. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Brilliant. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. All right. Ah, oh, I see. So we could have different style. That's nice. Different styles of balcony. Hmm. Oh, we could change the colours around? Oh, brilliant! Blue. Green. Oh, I like the purple, I do. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Oh, great. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I'm ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, 
What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, cool moonlit ambience. Does sound nice. Natural and earthy, though, does sound nice as well. Hmm. Let's try natural and earthy. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Oh. Does the room change itself? Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Mm. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Surely Indeed. is. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Indeed. Good Lord. Oh. What's this? More area to work with? Oh. Goodness. An even bigger space. Mm. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Indeed, Good. I will. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Hmm. Yes, it's um very light and airy, I'm sure. Make another wig and weld potion up. Why not? Get that going. How is our Dishony doing over here? Three minutes left. Hmm. So what's down here? Another space, more chairs. Oh my. Well, this is this is rather nice. What can we do in terms of? Ah, I see. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice. I think I think I like the botanical units. I think they look rather nice in a in a way for here like a hmm definitely a bit like a summer house oh definitely marvelous Oh, this is wonderful. A little kind of gardening area. We could... Oh, this is brilliant. Hmm. Tables. So... Oh, my potion's ready. There we go. We have a lot of Wig and Well potion now, which is brilliant. So... Hmm. hmm. All right. Well... It's um, good to have lots of extra space. That I'm very happy about. I wonder if we could conjure maybe... Furniture. Here we go. Screens. Hmm. Desks and the like. Seating. Tables. Seasonal decorations. Oh! Well, I guess I have to find those. Potions. Hmm. Hopping pots. Interesting. Hmm. 
All right. So the room of requirement, our own little space to brew potions, grow plants, and generally enjoy ourselves. Okay. Deke. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Maybe maybe the cool moonlit ambience would be I nice. would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm. Oh yeah, that makes it a little bit cooler. A little bit... Cozier. Maybe. Well. Hmm. Though it is quite dark. Well, we can sort that out. Thank you, Deke. Okay. I suppose I should go and meet Sebastian, really. Oh, Peeves, what are you doing? Good grief. Hello. Uh... Eves is always a little bit of a concern, I think. Revelio. Always a little bit of trouble that we don't need. I am still deeply curious about these. I don't quite know what they mean. What's this? Oh, hello! A cat! Why did no one clap when you were sorted? It's because, just before the sorting ceremony, Yes? I've done a foolish thing. <laughs> My own fault. What? Uh, what did you do? I'd spent time trying to mingle with as many other people as possible, and I moaned about each of the houses. Oh, well, more fool, yeah. Goodness me. Oi! Can you help me? Arthur Plumley? Yes, what's the problem? Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Oh. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. Oh, dear. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Oh, sounds intriguing. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Um, any idea where to start? Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Right. Well, perhaps I'll have a look. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Alright, so... Professor Hecate's classroom. Hmm. This is obviously the Conjuration Courtyard. Is it Conjuration Courtyard? up the stairs and this painting ah i know where that is right brilliant well we can um we can go and find the first landmark and meet sebastian a little later on i imagine he'll want to go at night as is his want as usual down here all right even if i knew how to Hmm. I'm hearing a lot of yelling. A lot of yelling going on. Why is there a lot of yelling? Ah. So here's this hmm. Am I not skeleton. skeleton. I'm on the right track. Yes, I think it was... Oh. The stairs? There we go. Hmm. The dragon fountain. So maybe the courtyard out here? Aha! Here we are. 
there's the fountain. Yes. I'm getting closer. Hmm. Stairwell, stairwell going up. Well, there is only one stairwell going up that I can see. Up here. So, in the courtyard, once we've exited the courtyard, maybe behind the dragon? Huh. Is trying too hard. So behind the dragon. Ah, yes, here we are. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? What is a Dedalian key, Nelly? Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Oh. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. I see. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Um. Why don't you follow the keys? Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Uh, why would the headmistress do such a thing? Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. True. I'll look into it. Perhaps I'll give it a go. Yeah. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Oh. All right. Well, I thank you. I hope you follow a few keys at least. Today. If you manage keys. to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. Hmm. A stairway going up. Well, the only stairway I can see is in. Wait. In here? Oh, we can't go in there. Well, surely it must be in here. This stairwell looks promising. Hmm. This looks like the portrait That's from the, the map. the one! Now, where's the treasure? Here. Oh! Oh! Aha! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Authentic historian's uniform. Well, brilliant. Dedalian keys. We have to go meet um, meet Sebastian. I need to swap out my uh, charms, my spells. Uh, there we go. Lumos. Oh yes, I remember this one. It was near a lion statue, but I never found the lion. Hmm. Well, never mind, never mind. So I need to find a Dedalian key in the astronomy tower as well. Goodness me. So much to do, so little time. Who could Brattleby must have nearly wet himself when you won every single crossed once battle? Well, I don't know about that. I can't remember the last time Sebastian lost a duel. Hmm. I wonder why they're called the Dalian keys. Okay. What? What? Where? What? Oh! A Dedalian key. Wonder where it might lead me. All right. I have to follow the key. Oh, good grief. It's quick. Where did it go? There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? Okay. Excellent! Oh! That's how. <gasps> An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. 
house token. <gasps> I imagine that'll be useful. Brilliant! You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Well, I can, actually. I can. I believe it. All right. Go and see Nellie and see what she makes of this thing. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe it goes in that weird chest that's in the house common room. Hmm. Well, Nellie will know. 